Lane. In 1606, the English set sail to explore the New World. With a charter from the Virginia Company of London, they planned to establish the colony of Jamestown, the first permanent English settlement. This exploration by the English brought an encounter between the Powhatan who lived in the forests of North America and the English who lived in the cities of Europe. This encounter resulted in an exchange that shaped the destiny of both nations. Early in 1608, a second group of English settlers arrived in Jamestown. Only one boy came with the group. He was 13-year-old Thomas Savage. When Savage arrived in Jamestown, about two-thirds of the Englishmen were dying from starvation or disease. Others had been killed by Powhatan warriors. John Smith, the leader of Jamestown, wanted to know more about these Native Americans. How many were there? Where were their villages? Which tribes, if any, would trade corn for beads? It was believed that young boys, like Thomas Savage, could absorb languages and overcome cultural and political barriers in a way that grown men could not. Why not offer Chief Wahoon Sanakwa, the English boy, Thomas Savage, in exchange for a Powhatan boy who would sail to England? The motive would be to promote understanding, assist with trade during times of peace, and serve as spies in times of war. An exchange of boys between these nations would bring a cultural encounter between two very different peoples who didn't fully trust each other. Thomas Savage went with the English settlers to Werowakamoko. According to John Smith's Proceedings of the English Colony written in 1612, A boy named Thomas Savage was then given unto Powhatan, whom Newport called his son, for whom Powhatan gave him Namantok, his trusty servant. The cause? was to know our strength and country's condition. This exchange, which was understood on both sides, temporarily diffused tensions and provided a peaceful way to communicate. In the spring, Chief Wahoon Sunakwa sent Savage to Jamestown with food. He was to negotiate the release of Native American captives. His mission failed. However, Smith wrote, the boys suspected some villainy by their extraordinary resort and secret conference from whence they would send him. Chief Wahoon Sanakwa concluded that Savage had understood too many Powhatan conversations and returned him to Jamestown. Not long after, Chief Wahoon Sanakwa sent his daughter, Pocahontas, to Jamestown with gifts of food to plead with Savage to return as her father loved him exceedingly. Savage returned to live with the Powhatan and continued as an interpreter and participant in treaty negotiations. This sudden change by Chief Wahoon Sanakwa is an example of how Thomas Savage was at the mercy of the shifting needs in one or both cultures. John Smith appreciated the value of Thomas Savage as an interpreter. He featured the story of Savage's exchange in his true relation of such occurrences and accidents of note, which was sent to England in June 1608. Thomas Savage became part of a dangerous intercultural power struggle on both sides of the Atlantic. England's colonial rival Spain became aware of the exchange when Namantok arrived in England. Since the Spanish were also trying to establish colonies in North America, they were concerned about the influence Thomas Savage had in affairs between the English and the Powhatan. The Spanish ambassador wrote to King Philip III. Virginia colonists had deceived Powhatan with an English boy whom they gave him, and how the Powhatan makes much of him. When English colonists learned that Namantok was killed at sea, Thomas's situation became very dangerous. If the Powhatan found out, they might take revenge. As months and years went by with no word from Namantok, the secret got harder and harder for the English to keep. Chief Wahoon Sanakwa often complained, Nomentok as yet is not returned, though many ships have arrived. How ye have dealt with him, I know not. Chief Wahoon Sanakwa, not fully trusting Savage, forbid him from going to Jamestown by himself. Nonetheless, Savage was able to warn the English about Powhatan attacks. Despite the lack of trust, Savage's success as an interpreter and informant encouraged the exchange of other boys between the two cultures.
Thomas Savage lived with the Powhatans and struggled with divided loyalties. The period the colonists called the Starving Time had begun, and Chief Wahoon Snaqua planned to take advantage of their weakness. After an ambush on an English trading party, Savage, Spellman, and Samuel, all English teenagers living among the Powhatan, decided it would be safer to leave, but Thomas had second thoughts. According to Spellman's account, Savage feigned some excuse to stay and unknown to us went back to Powhatan and acquainted him with our fleeing. For Thomas Savage, this incident served as a lesson in danger and deceit. He informed Chief Wahoon Sinaqua of the escape in an attempt to win the trust of the Powhatan. Instead, Savage was returned to Jamestown. Thomas Savage was now the only colonist who knew Algonquin words and customs. He continued to interpret for the two nations. He was present when Pocahontas was taken hostage in 1613 and played a critical role in negotiating an end to the fighting between the English and Pamunkey tribe in March 1614. In the treaty, Thomas Savage helped to secure a tribute payment of two bushels of corn for every fighting man, guaranteeing much needed food for the colonists. Savage returned to Chief Wahoon Sinaqua with Ralph Hamer, secretary of the colony. Hamer describes his surprise. His first salutation was to the boy, whom he very well remembered, after this manner. My child, you are welcome. You have been a stranger to me these four years. Until now, you never returned. You are my child, by the donation of Captain Newport. Thomas Savage became one of the most important figures in Jamestown and maintained a good relationship with the Algonquin. He was particularly well-liked by Chief Devavan, the Laughing King of the Acomax, who gave Thomas 9,000 acres on the eastern shore of Virginia. Thomas became the first white settler in that area and brought English trade to the eastern shore. In 1618, when Chief Wahoon Sinaqua died, his brother, Opish Kankanao, became the leader. Opish Kankanao did not like Thomas Savage. John Pori explains, Opish Kankano had employed Annie Onimo to kill Savage because he brought the trade from him to the eastern shore and some disgrace he had done his people. Thomas Savage, through his friendship with Chief Debovin, learned that the Powhatan were planning to assemble their allies and send warriors against every plantation in the colony. In 1622, Thomas Savage repeatedly warned Jamestown authorities of the impending attack. On March 22nd, Opish Kankanao attacked the English colony. The colonists realized too late that the Powhatans never, at any time, voluntarily yield themselves as subjects or servants. The event ended any chance for peace between the two peoples and started the decade-long war. Thomas Savage was the survivor's last hope for refuge. Colonial authorities relied on Savage to reinforce alliances and obtain much-needed food. During the war, Savage's loyalties were questioned. Former Governor Yeardley convicted Savage of slander and insubordination. He was sentenced to serve the interests of Yeardley. Yeardley designated Savage as the official interpreter of the Accomac region. Savage was not to interact with the Powhatans without permission. Perhaps he was not fully trusted. After the war, Thomas Savage worked to make the Eastern Shore the primary base of operation for the Virginia fur traders. As the colonists' focus shifted from raiding Powhatan fields to the more lucrative fur trade, Thomas Savage spent the rest of his life gaining Native American cooperation for the large-scale colonization of the region. Thomas Savage helped to advance the English interests. In the beginning, he was a pawn used by both nations. He eventually became well respected and made vital contributions to the early success of Jamestown. He ensured that the English received information and supplies to successfully establish a permanent settlement that would allow for growth and expansion. Unfortunately, the Powhatans would lose much of their political and ethnic identity. Thomas Savage, through this cultural exchange, became part of an encounter between the English and Powhatans that set in motion a series of events that would forever change the continent.